happy holidays guys welcome back to my channel now this morning i am preparing fried whole wheat dumplings now come over into my kitchen and i'll show you how i prepare my fried whole wheat dumplings but before i go i must say i thank you all for subscribing to my channel being a loyal viewer and for those who have not subscribed as yet what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel and you will see these interesting meals that i am preparing for you happy holidays again now guys to make my fried whole wheat dumpling i'm using one cup and a half of whole wheat flour a teaspoon of salt here I have a little baking powder some ch white cheddar cheese some cinnamon powder some you will need some cooking oil this is some sugar this is th one third cup of sugar one third cup of sugar and I add some water in there which I'm gonna stir which I'm gonna sweeten you will need a half teaspoon here to measure your baking soda I'm using my baking soda here I'm using a half teaspoon to measure my baking soda I'm using a half cup to measure my coconut milk I'm using a mixing bowl together so I'll just get right into it and show you how I prepare my dumplings get my gloves on I love to knead my dumplings beer and yes I love to feel the flour the, the, the food on my hands but for this I'm putting on my gloves this time all right so I'll move the cheese out of the way I'm not ready for that as yet So I'll add my baking powder, my cinnamon, I'll just add all my dry ingredients, guys. All wheat is good for you fiber and it is healthy on your stomach now I'll just add that amount of coconut milk let's get these out of the way So I'll mix my sugar and water. So I'll use a fork to distribute the ingredients here. I need to add my baking soda. Just a little baking soda, guys, because baking soda, when I put too much baking soda in it, it's gonna taste bitter. Have that taste too much. You don't need too much baking soda. That amount of baking soda to that amount of flour, that is okay. 
and you know you can just just a little home tip for those housewives out there you can use your baking soda you know put a little in the refrigerator to uh make the refrigerator smell fresh and clean at all times so you just put a little in some container and uh, let it sit in the refrigerator and your refrigerator just smells fresh and clean so i'll just combine all these ingredients So gradually you pour the water. Just a little tip. Just a little because this dough use will just form quickly. a little tip of water. Okay, make sure you, you wash your hands, you know, before you do all of that. Everything. Alright. So I'll just put this down and allow it to rise I'll just wrap it over and allow this to rise I'll just give it half an hour Now guys, I make a hole in the dough and now I'm going to put my cheese inside. See? Now I'll cover up. My dumplings. Like this. <laughs> 